Well, we're clear for takeoff. Less the speeds 140, 140, 140. Runway heading to 5,000. Air Canada's 401 with 080 at takeoff runway 06 left. Stay with me, airborne. Clear takeoff 06 left. Stay with you, airborne. Air Canada 401. Man flex, SRS, runway, auto thrust. One hundred. Roger. V one rotate. Power loss. Positive rate. You're up. <laughs> Runway track. Autopilot one. Autopilot one. Heading pull. Heading ECAM action. Engine two fail. Thrust lever two idle. Confirm. Thrust lever two. Idle. Engine mode select. Ignition. If no engine relight, there is no relight. Engine master two off. Confirm engine master two. Off. If damage, there is no damage. If no damage, engine two relight initiate. Stop, ECAM. Toronto Tower, Air Canada 401. We've had an engine failure on takeoff. Roger, Air Canada uh, 401. Vertical speed zero. Vertical speed zero. Flop zero. Altitude pull, speed pull, maximum continuous thrust, thrust max continuous, open climb, auto thrust, continue ECAM. Flap zero gears up. If no damage, engine two relight initiate. Max altitude, see below. We're in the envelope. Engine master affected off. Number two masters off. Thrust lever affected, check idle. Number two thrust levers at idle. Man start push button off. It's off. Auto start is recommended in flight. Be aware that contrary to auto start on ground, the crew must take appropriate action in case of abnormal start. Engine mode slick, ignition. Cross bleed open. It's open. Wing anti ice for starter assist off. It's off. Engine master affected on. Engine light up must be achieved within 18 seconds after fuel flow increases. Four thousand for five thousand. Okay. The engine has relit. When idle reached, engine mode select norm. It's norm. TCAS mode select check TARA. Speed alt star. Check. Affected systems restore. Checklist complete.